Uh, so for before we get started, do you notice that's the Triple D's Oh Dear Bright's Diner? Oh yeah. I got a quick question. Where's the Triple D come in? Uh. This is Bright's Diner. I don't know. I want cupcakes now too. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get started. So we we're gonna be on Alan Wake. We on Alan Wake. We See, already saw this. I came to Bright Falls I... with my wife, Alice. Blah blah blah. All right. Okay. Three years ago, New York. Hey, it's the color's me. better. Uh, well, I don't know about that, but man, he looks uglier without the beard. Oh, you're right. He's oh fine. God, no! I don't want to look at him. <laughs> he looks even more smarmy. At least his mouth is closed. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Ah, oh, coffee simulator. Nice. Yeah. I do prefer the, uh, whatchamacallit, hoodie. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I do not get that standy. <laughs> You know what? The only reason that... Why does he have golden guns? I don't know. It's probably a writer's reward. Hmm. The fall of Casey, the things that I want, Alex Casey, what I can't forget, return to sender. Oh, an Alex Casey thriller. Oh, we can't look at the guns. Oh, come on. I need to know what that reward is for. Oh, there she oh, is. Oh, she's a photographer. Hey, this is going to be a long night. But these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. <laughs> I'm loving these photos. They're just so, something dumb about Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Yeah. God, he looks so That's not good. pretty. <laughs> what happened? To his face? Up, oh, it's a blizzard. You know what that means. <laughs> Somebody's doing time shit again. Wait a minute. We are doing weird time shit because we jumped forward by seven days. Oh, my God. Coffee's on. Great. Thanks. Can Max yeah, just come yeah, in and, like, take well. over? Because I'd rather deal with Max than Alan. Maybe, maybe all this shit's happening because Max is doing time time travel right now. I can't believe Alan Wake and Live of Strange are connected. <laughs> uh, that's the way out. Well, I mean, his wife is a photographer, so... Yeah? I can't believe Sorry. this is actually, in some alternate universe, uh, this is Max's parents. Wait, is this a... Oh, that looked like a bag of salt from the distance. What is this? A bag of something. I don't know. Groceries? I think it's just groceries. Why just leave them there? Yeah, put them away, you monster. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? I'm well, trying to... you seem to think so last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> can we just start the coffee? I already started the coffee. Oh. Maybe it's finished. No, we gotta check out the mock-ups. Fine. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. <laughs> I kind of like that. Time was the last time. I like oh, that cover. Uh, which one? <gasps> uh, the one with the uh, blood in the gun. Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Uh, it's right there. Why? Does this happen so honey, often that they need an exposed up. fuse box? I've got the flashlight. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. So what happened in three years to make him such a dick to his wife? But it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. Yeah, he's a lot more tolerable here. What's up? What the hell happened? Okay. That just shows the show. Facial hair makes you an asshole. When I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. 
If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. So, a sure. uh, just the regular light switch. There it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. If we started off with this, I feel like I would be more invested <laughs> in their in whatever their b b bullshit is. Okay, no. Never mind. I changed my mind. Well, we're not watching anything else. I know, but I still want to know the implication. It's the implication. Sorry. So, in that three years, he turned into a major dick. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. They called that Thanks. doctor off his fishing trip. Aw. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate He looks like a fisherman, right? North. Yeah, he does. Maybe he just dresses Doc like Nelson that. was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Oh. <laughs> this was behind us the whole time. Oh, so, so you to cut your yeah. fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever got. If you you know, he's that. he's nice that he isn't like too put off me, by it. But she's right hey, I just noticed something. Now, what? A large UFO scare, lights in the sky frighten oh. populace. <laughs> Maybe this is aliens the whole time. It, it would make things a lot more interesting. For you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be All right, Doc nice Nelson's a nice enough guy, but he's just going on and on. Get me off the water well, he, well, that's how, you know, old people are. They talk a lot. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, Doc. He's a lot nicer to the doctor than he was to fucking Rose. Yeah. Where am I? Oh. Or to that other old guy. Okay. That was weird. Yeah, he just sort of... Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being completely transparent. The bolts will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. Do you think she knows something? Be sure to take care of it, Miss Viva. Have a nice day now. Mm, she, Very good. She's so far I'll been consistent. To remind you, just in case. I'm wondering if she knows something about the dark things. Well, Mr. Wake, nope, she's leaving. She okay, bye, I guess. I love that they don't open the door, they just push it with their that body. Was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. <laughs> She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, yeah, Mrs. Weaver in New York. Let's do it. <laughs> the whole town refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Really, it's, got, it's got a huge Darkness Falls vibe. Look, it's called Bright Falls. Come on. <laughs> Forgot to start the timer again. Whoops. Of course, what small town hasn't? All right. Are you from Minnesota? I don't know. I don't know what accents are. Hey, missing. Who's missing? A cat. Oh yeah. A cat's missing. Yeah, it's a cat. I oh, hope we hope we find the cat. Um. Have you seen this man? Knack for winning contests. How about his name? Yeah, I know, right? Jacob Miller. I wonder if these are the uh, developers. Probably. Yeah, I hope we don't have to kill one of them later. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't she Mr. waiting Wake. for us? Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Ah, oh, thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? Don't have to be so goddamn demanding, John. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I feel it's a little understandable. Sure. Yeah, I that, yeah, I just thought about we that. <laughs> I walked out of the cabin. The I... cabin on Cauldron Lake. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. 
Come on, don't be addicted to Sheriff Sarah Breaker. Oh. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. <sighs> I thought he quit drinking for good. Is Walter the one of the old guys? I don't think so. Oh, that's a bad sign. Oh shit. That's the most important part. Not that a man <laughs> is missing, but that no one's gonna drive the parade float. Alright, this guy's yelling his full head off. Yeah, seriously. That cell is huge! I know. To be bright in here. Here you go, buddy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you. He's got a weird flesh-colored mustache. <laughs> even being here, the cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, sure, sure. I beat him up. I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. Why is he wearing a tracksuit? Let him live his dream. <laughs> He's just gonna keep talking. Let's just go. Yeah. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. So that way, I guess. Yep. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay. Oh. What? <laughs> no, get over it, Alan. told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. You know, you, you could have pushed it. A... Pu pu push, uh, whatever, Alan. God. <laughs> Jesus. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. How was he Barry? watching him? Yeah. Oh, it's Barry. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. No, oh, I want to go up there. Look, look, there's a handle. You should be able to pull the ladder down. Yeah, seriously. So, okay. Good thing nobody heard him kick that. Yeah. God damn it, Alan. <laughs> Jump over the fence, Alan. Jump over the fence, Alan. <laughs> what now am I just, missing? Now we're just stuck here, I guess. Get in the mech, Sinji. There. Now we just gotta be like, hey, thanks for, like, stuff. But I'm cool now. Bye. Is he gone? Oh, Walter's dead. No, he's did right he, there. Did he pass out? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Shapes his uh, darkness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop... That's Alan's voice coming out of uh, Martin there. Or whatever his name was. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. Oh, it might have been coming from that TV we weren't looking at. Uh, I think it's busted. It's smoking. I think it, I think we were, it was another TV shot. 
Eh, I'll leave the lights on for him. We'll get back to the Anderson brothers. Better, uh, goddamn colors. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. You've been a little but bit too suspicious. But I need to know where you be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure Get your finger out of his face, Alan. Oh, God. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh, my. Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. Barry. Oh, my God. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. <laughs> you yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. <laughs> Barry, what's with that what coat? What was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Jeez. Barry, you're so loud. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And Ugh. he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake. She's just there? Hey, you found him. I wrote. Yeah. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Yeah, sure. Right. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Oh, no. Max. I really need to go. Great <laughs> to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Yeah, don't be creepy. Hey, Max. Oh, I hope Max is a puppy. I hope so too. Mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl, and more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Oh, that poor bison. <laughs> Look at the elephants, or mammoths, whatever. Buck two, Charlie. I, I they're think supposed, it's to be. supposed to be mammoths. I like there's an owl. <laughs> Somebody killed a lot of animals. Yeah, no kidding. Oh no, a deer head. Great before the storm reference. <laughs> Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Oh yeah, alligators evolved into mammoths. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Ooh, a cougar. You shot a guy and his body just disappeared. Ooh, a bear. What was the last time? You Look how happy that bear looks. <laughs> Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Why is the snacks have more color than everything surrounding it? Oh, yeah. Let's get some big stuffers. <laughs> and garlic and vinegar chips. Where am I going? Uh, we're s we're supposed to talk to Rusty. All right. He he's with Max on the balcony. I think he's supposed to go out the other door, the next to the snacks. Uh, this one. Or oh, whatever that yeah. one too. There's a lot of doors. Mm-hmm. There are many doors, that boy. Easy there, boy. It's a puppy. It is a dog. Yay! Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Yeah, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Oh no, it's a bear trap. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? Oh, no. It's just across no, from Buck puppy. Okay, sure. It's not Toby, what? though. <laughs> Crazy poachers. Unless Toby was the cat. His foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Yay. Poor puppy. I hope he doesn't... still groggy from the shot I gave him, and... 
Yeah, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth. Yeah, we get it. Jeez. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in He's very loud about it. Yeah, seriously. To the cops. Just broadcast it to everybody. Wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing it Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You got to understand how crazy all this sounds. <laughs> if you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out. It's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Just let him yell in there. I kind of like Bra uh, Barry. Wait here. I think this is the form you wanted. He's shouting at Barry, not not, here, not the right? guy. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. <coughs> Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. He didn't even it's sign that. I know. Just follow the paths. So you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. <laughs> Yeah, let's get away from the puppy. It sounds very sad. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep blah blah blah. Video. Shut up. Okay. Below that. that motion blur. Yeah. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went into thin air. He yeah. shot like eight of them. <laughs> until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. To their beds, Barry, get longer pants. White shirts with two long, tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. Well, that, that's if that's no fair. Proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laughs on me then. Al, come on. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Oh, we can just go. We don't have to talk to Barry. Yeah, seriously. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me up. Oh, he's coming with us. Oh, thank God. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight. Yeah, Barry. We could have. I don't think we would go out <laughs> for you. Just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? His name's Alan. Go to the sheriff. Or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. The killer. This is not a goddamn <laughs> He just really <laughs> casually knocked over that fucking lamp. Said to come alone. Okay, okay. He's like fucking Tommy Wiseau. They're going to kill her, <laughs> Barry. That I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. I mean, this is a pretty serious thing, but... Yeah. Morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. <laughs> I'd rather deal with, like, Tracer... Trying to save Emily than anything else. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. I think that says farewell sanity. Wow. That, that green book? Yeah. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy. Just God wanted... knows what. Oh no, it's a spiral. So oh no, it's Uzumaki all over again. <laughs> Don't like how things are groaning. Nope, turn we're gonna the, turn those on. Yeah, turn those back on. We have to go outside and towards the. I think this is the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, we have to go to the. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit. Every step of the way, Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see that. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're walking? We're not taking the truck, I don't think. No, I don't think it had a walking path. Imagine if you could just take the car. It'd be like, every time you saw a Taken. This wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done, but I was still... Also, Alan's narrating, so that means we've, like, finished some of this. called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. I feel like something creepy is going to happen at these cabins. Well, there's a light thing over there, so something's going to happen. God. Yeah, that raven just scared me. Can I go in this house? Apparently. Let's turn the lights on. Ooh, another radio. Welcome back to 
the show, folks, as promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your beer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> this is Spiral Book again. I don't... Something in Faith. The conspiracy and or the other no no the the flower book I think it says conspiracy and faith. <laughs> it looks like conspiracy of faith. It looks like a Twilight book. It does. <laughs> Open it. Uh, uh, is it ammo? Yeah, it's ammo. Okay, I'm not. I don't want to like listen to them talk about the old guy. Just All right. Blah blah blah. Only this morning. Ooh, a tire swing. This is the saddest tire swing I've ever seen. <laughs> Why is it moving? Mm. Let's not go to a tire swing. Be careful, you might uh. fall. Or you get pushed over. <sighs> Earthquake? If that makes sense. Oh, it's that's an earthquake? Oh god. Mm. So are we just switching back and forth between alternate realities? I don't know. Every time it gets uh silent hilly, I'm pretty sure we're going into something where it says people should be in the that's broken. Hmm. That's not good. I don't like it. Uh, just kick it. Up. <laughs> Are you what the hell? Oh, here's the book. I I can't, I can't read it. Oh, there's a TV over there. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, we'll watch another episode of the show and then call it in the, call this a. Uh, yeah, so we're going to watch this, and then we're going to end it. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of sin Wish you could focus on it. <laughs> yes. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. All right, more Night Springs. Yeah. The man in the mirror. Michael Jackson? <laughs> I'm looking for the man in the mirror. Is this, supposed, is this like Twilight Zone and also Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're white. That's what they're saying. You're a nice guy. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> what does that even be mean anything? <laughs> Who is doing the camera work for this show? I don't know. <laughs> The the inflection for the the tone like speaking does not match how crazy. these people are like really moving. Uh huh. No it's like watching an instruction no video. So they can't ID him either because he yeah. fucked up the guy's face. Oh. Your friends, identical. Huh. How about that? So he killed some guy that was. Wow. <laughs> that is actually a good line. Oh, this guy can go suck a dick. Wait, did he kill his son? No, he like scared him. Oh, so he killed some guy and then scared his son? No, he killed somebody with his own... The guy he killed had his own fingerprints. Oh. What is with all these dramatic shots? They don't match up at all. Okay. So they're trying to suggest that a guy came out of the mirror and killed his reflection. Oh. 
That's kind of yeah. cool. This is way more interesting than the game. Yeah, I kind of want to see a full episode of that. Oh, no outro? Come on. Uh. All right. And we're not going to have a great outro either. <laughs> so we'll, when we pick this up next time, we'll probably... Can we turn on the lights? Nope. Nope. All right. We'll probably get to Lover's Peak. So I'm KM. And I'm Shark Pub. And we'll see you next time, pals.